So if the block is static and immovable, doesn't doesn't do it it doesn't wiggle at all right the rotating assembly is the exact opposite the rotating assembly if the engine is operating is constantly moving and it has a lot of po parts that you probably have heard of let's go through some of them again moves all the time pieces of the rotating assembly so there's the big boy the crankshaft the crankshaft is probably the single most important piece of the automobile right aside from the block itself because this is the thing that all of the power is exerted on by the combustion itself and the combustion is the exploding event right the power travels into the crankshaft ultimately and that crankshaft spins inside of the uh, engine block uh, if you've ever looked at a car and you've seen that you have your speed you know, you're doing 60 miles an hour down the road. There's another key dial, right? The RPM, revolutions per minute. You know, if I'm at 2,000 RPM, it's very different than 4,000 RPM, right? Or a cruising RPM in most cars. Economy car, for example, would be something like 1,200, right? Um, my 7th gen Mustang likes to cruise at about 2,000 because she is a salty girl, right? <laughs> we'll get into that later. But what that revolutions per minute is counting is the revolutions of the crankshaft inside the block. If you didn't know that, now you do, right? And it all connects up out to uh, producing output out the engine um, via the flywheel. The pieces in the middle are the rods and pistons. And let's, um, oops, nope, we'll get into it now. 